Let's get him. Crazy physics. Know your stuff. Let's get him. We stand no chance against you. Teach him a lesson. No, that's a some fishies on the floor. Fleece, fish market here. Okay, so let's uh, breach. the door and come out with your hands up. Oh shit, that's Robocop. Listen, you and your friends got it all wrong. You're not supposed to be here, pal. OCP doesn't button to this hood's business. <laughs> and you're police on OCP's money. So you better scram if you don't want trouble. What I want is not important. What I need is your surrender. Well, how about batteries, huh? I'm sure you need those to stick them up your ass to keep that freak show running. I I've got a hostage here, and I'll blow his fucking brains out if you try anything stupid. Break the door. He's reloading. Who's that? That was fast. Okay. There ain't an ounce of respect in those perps. There's nothing sacred to OCP, but I was wrong about you. You definitely more human than any of them OCP hyenas. <sighs> that was intense. Good job, Officer Washington. Thank you, Robo. What's this? No money, unpaid bills, sense of impending doom, consider red market. Organ selling made easy. <laughs> Um, okay. Yeah, this is slightly cyberpunkish game as well. Okay, here we go. Coroner comes and cleans, cleans up after Robocop. Hey, Washington. That sounded like a proper gunfight. So how come you're still in one piece? I had a partner who had my back. Yeah, <laughs> point. I might just change my mind about you. Yeah, that's a, ro a Robocop. I'll wrap this up, Robo. We can head back to the precinct. A Robocop uh, is determined to make Washington a real, real police. Hey, Robo, could you help us? We're in quite a pickle. Once, once again. We have here a dead campaign manager from Mills's office. Uh-huh. This case is urgent, but we can't get inside the vehicle to examine the corpse. For some reason, the car is electrified. Now that everyone's on strike, there's no one to take care of it, and I don't want to end up like a well-done steak. I am glad to be of help. And if you can look around for clues afterward, you know, uh, you never can tell with the electricity. Bulbs are burnt out. Something must have caused the short circuit. I assume a failure of the Magnavolt system. I will look into it. 
And if it wasn't for that, we'd have probably found the car on bricks and him in just his boxers. I wouldn't be so optimistic. Okay. Magna Volt is deactivated. It is now safe to investigate the car. Ah, great. But uh, if you could take a look inside, uh, just in case. Gladly. I don't the think that's. Strangled. The rope was tied with a sailor's knot. Yeah, I don't Let think that's Magna like Magna Volt. That. Sailor. The deceased is holding the phone. The last number dial is described as the office. Was he calling his own office door? There is an earring on the front seat. Could be helpful if we find out. The phone, the earring, and a sailor's knot. That's something to go on. And the place itself is interesting. Less than a hundred yards from the victim's office. I wonder why he stopped here. I will go to the office to see if the victim left a message. It's near the cinema on the third floor. We need to finish here before we can join you. Were there any witnesses? There's that homeless guy across the street. He warned us about the current. He probably tried to steal something from the car. But it's hard to get anything out of him. His hand is fried, but he says he doesn't want an ambulance. Says he can't afford it. Why would OCP get involved in this case? Not following politics, huh? The guy was Mills' campaign manager. OCP will do anything to get Mills elected. Uh -huh. If the government hadn't been on strike, they would have brought the whole station down here. Why did you not join the strike? I owe Reed a favor. And you're too close to retirement to risk it. <laughs> but yep. nothing keeping you here, Officer O'Neill, apart from making my life less bearable. Well, somebody's got to watch your clumsy ass. I will let you know if I find anything in that office. We'll meet you there, and maybe we'll grab a burger on the way. Not on my watch. <laughs> hey, I thought we were partners. Quite, quite a bear. Reception. Speed and style. CP manager. The long awaited execution of the war criminal Ernesto de la Diego ended in failure when his military supporters, Red Rat, staged a bloody protest. Ernesto was acquitted to prevent further bloodshed. Uh -huh. Yeah, he's still sleeping. Temporary out of service. No names or anything. Come on, please. Damn lock. Do you need help? Can I help you, officer? I want to speak with someone from Simon Page's office. Oh, then you're in the right place. Agatha Crane, Simon's assistant. But I'm afraid we have to wait for Mr. Page if we want to go in. Why? A key card issue. I have to recode them every week because Mr. Page has a thing about security. But sometimes newly encoded cards don't work. I call them unpredictable little things. They can ruin even the best schedule. Mr. Page was murdered last night. Oh, uh, what? Oh, oh God. That makes my schedule irrelevant. Yeah, <laughs> Were you probably. Were anyone else in the office yesterday after Mr. Page left? No, Mr. Page always stays late and just the two of us work here. Allow me to check the phones. 
Mr. Page called the office during his murder. Of course. But first we need to get inside. Maybe you could help with the door. Okay. Follow me. I suppose we have a... Through my phone. It's on the desk on the right. Fake ID card. I suppose we have a per permission to go go in here. Like old Detroit look disgusting. So the idea of Delta City. Yeah, it, Delta City is in the in the movies even important part of the plot. Organ selling and other ideas for making money. Uh -huh. Books were bought for show. Visitors don't look too closely, and making an impression is all that matters. Mr. Page's words. Did Mr. Page like to sail? It was one of his hobbies. I don't know who he sailed with, though. He kept me out of his private life. Interesting. So, clues. Mr. Page's computer. I don't have access to it. Mr. Page's private schedule. Some of his meetings were so secret that he arranged them for himself. I didn't even Gee. know about them. There's a security camera, but I don't think we can get to the... Oh, maybe maybe the camera foot is, in, is on the computer. Now, where's the last clue? Well, it's this. Receipts for gifts that Mr. Page gave during business meetings. Bribery, in other words. Did you find any leads? You know, perhaps you should check out Mayor Kuzak's team, as the death of Mr. Page plays into their hands. According to his schedule, Mr. Page often met with a person marked as G. In fact, they met yesterday. Oh, God. Could he be the murderer? Do you know who that might be? As I said, Mr. Page had a thing about secrecy. I wasn't allowed to view his private schedule, so I don't know all the people listed there. What about his receipts? There was one for earrings. Who were they for? For Gloria. Oh, God. Gee. Gloria who? Gloria Lindbergh from Kuzak's campaign office. Mr. Kuzak's? Mr. wanted her to change sides. Do you know where she lives? Okay. It's just a short walk from here. An apartment opposite the basketball court. I don't know the exact address. Well, that, that settles things. Pre prestige. <laughs> Last word, distillery. Decola Borad, single mast whiskey. Perhaps murder. <laughs> okay. So subtle, subtle. Out. We have a suspect. I am on my way to question her. In the office, there is an assistant of the deceased. I'll keep an eye on this place till you get back. Kurtz will be here in a minute. He just went to get us a couple burgers. Uh. Oh, no, no can do.
Well, there's a pl- police cliche that when, when you get re- retired, you will get shot. <laughs> Just the be- day before. I hope it's it's not that kind of story, basically. Päivä, päivä. Juhist. M- mitäs menee? Long loading screens are good because then, then I actually I have time to check the chat. That's great. <laughs> Hienosti menee. Onko ro- Robocop tuttu? Alright. Yeah, Gangstash is here. Okay. Elokuvana kyllä. Joo, sama se on. Sama se on niin elokuvana tuttu. Aha, täältähän löytyy. Kaksi killipojoa. Erinomasta. Two skill points. Mm, maybe I'll, I'll save two more and then I can get something. Something done. Funny thing with the 1980s uh, adult movies, movies meant for adults, like Robocop, is that uh, they had like side marketing that stuff, like toys and games and whatever, that were marketed on children. And and I can't wrap my head around uh, of idea of actually making an adult movie and then selling 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 products based on it to kids who are not allowed to watch the movie I, I think my, my parent, parents didn't let me to see the Robocop in, in first time it came out of out of Finnish television Okay, sum, sum in ajan peli Road to Bostock tuttu, ootko seuraillut sen kehitystä? On, on seuraillut, ja nythän nyt kävi sillä, että ne, se vaihtoi koudot pelimoottorille, mikä on tässä pikkuhiljaa ottanut alaa ää, tota Unityltä. Ja mä odottelen, että siitä tulee joku semmonen isompi pelattava, pelattava versio, niin sitten voi testata, mutta ovat tosiaan koudotille niin vaihtaneet. Good, good thing. Good, good, good to check around a bit. Mutta mut sitähän voisi luonnehtia, että se on niinku suomala, suomalainen Escape from Tarkov. Road, road to Vostok, I mean. Aha. Mielenkiintoinen you, kyllä, joo. Ehdottomasti mielenkiintoinen. So OCP is using less and less subtle methods to intimidate us. What do you want? Yeah. I am here to ask questions about Simon Page. He's my political opponent. I have nothing more to say about him. Mr. Page was murdered last night. Oh. Too bad for him. I kind of liked him. Uh-huh. So why are you here? 
We have reason to believe that you are involved. On what basis? We found evidence that you may have been at the crime scene. <laughs> what a surprise. Evidence found by OCP, perhaps? Did you or did you not meet yesterday? I was supposed to, for business. But Simon called my office and canceled the meeting. The investigation demands that I search your apartment. If OCP wants to frame me, you probably won't back off anyway, so come on in. Well, maybe Robocop is a good, good boy and would, would go away if you said, she said no. I was wondering if there was a man hiding under that shiny armor. I have a second glass if you want to loosen up. Okay, now she's hitting Robocop. And what, what do neighborhoods mean to us? I have a prescription for them. I can't fall asleep when I'm alone in bed. Okay, that's sus. Aha, uh -huh. mm, okay. And uh, these are probably for the personal use or something. I lead a busy social life. It's not a crime, is it, officer? Depends. I have various hobbies. Sailing is one of the more innocent ones. Yep. Well, I'll, I'll buy that. Do you like it, officer? Such strong hands can probably tie strong knots. Okay, what else do we need? So we ne ne knew she met the um, victim last last day. There were rope, her rope around victim's neck and her earring. And they had hobbies to, together. So what else? Okay, there's there's another yeah, another re this earring. Is a gift from Mr. Page. He gave them to me when we met. He was probably trying to buy his way into my favor. I lost the second one. Okay. So, am I under arrest? Maybe you want to cuff me. Being restrained is exciting only for those who are truly free. According to Mr. Page's schedule, you met often, too often for business meetings. <laughs> that doesn't make me a murderer. Simon contacted me a month ago. He wanted me to join Mills's campaign office. We slept together a couple of times, and there was something electrifying about it. Electrifying? So, hmm. Sus. With OCP, the consequences if we were found out. And we were. His assistant figured it out. She must have reported us, and OCP killed him. They were afraid he might give me Mills's campaign details. You claim that Agatha Crane knew about your affair. Not only knew, but she blackmailed Simon. She's ambitious. She wanted to get a promotion out of it, but Simon fired her. When was Agatha fired? Maybe a week ago. <laughs> you should talk to her, not me. I intend to do that. Please stay at our disposal. Missing you already. She doesn't have a motive. That's that's the thing. Not not a, not a mo not not motive for for the murder. So that's that's why we need to rule her out. Is the victim's assistant still with you? O'Neill here. We have a problem locating her, but I can assure you she didn't leave the office. You'll see what I mean when you get here. On my way. Keep Ms. Crane there and be careful. She is our prime suspect. Understood. But yeah. Luckily this is this is not a game that you make need to make deductions and 
puzzling choices and stuff like that. It is, this is more straightforward. A role-playing game though, but straightforward one. So... Although the visual storytelling is pretty pretty nice in this game. I mean, I mean, all the commercials and stuff like that. And uh, urban decay. Who killed Simon Page? So we could actually do the serve and protect. Well, let's let's do it after this. It needs a bit of running around, but... I wonder where she, she has gone. Nio! Tosiaan oli, oli ajatuksena, että pelaisin tota, ää, Spec Ops The Line-peliä, mikä on yksi sairaimmista räiskintäpeleistä ikinä. Ää, se on juuri otettu pois Steamista, mutta se on hyvin kontroversaalinen. Saatan ehkä lauantaina näyttää sitä. So at least that's, that's the idea that I would play, play uh, Spec, Spec Ops The Line for you, you people. Okay, what's in here? Okay, Bur Where Bur is Burgerman is back. A very good question. When you left, I came inside to take her statement, but there was no one here. Kirk showed up soon after. We've been looking for the lady ever since, but she's vanished into thin air. She couldn't have left the office without us seeing her, though. We must find her. New evidence suggests that she is the murderer. Once again, let's just check every corner. She couldn't just disappear. How do we know that the missing lady is the one who did this? She had a motive. She threatened to reveal Paige's affair to get a promotion. He fired her instead. Nine five eight four. <laughs> this this computer wasn't open last time I was here. But let's see. P penal codes. Ugly face. College. Okay, what what are we looking for? Ah, uh, here's a clue. There's a secret button hidden in the desk. This is getting more interesting. As long as it's not red, I. The case of the mysterious disappearance solved. Now all we have to do is open that door. It looks like open she used a computer. Sesame. Maybe we can find something uh, sure. there. Sure, keep reminding me of the delicious sesame sprinkled burger buns we haven't eaten yet. <sighs> Just delete already. That's the problem. Agatha Crane, you are under arrest for the murder of Simon Page. It was just removing an obstacle. Okay. You have the right to remain silent. I had the right to do it. He didn't even realize that by blackmailing him, I proved that I'll do anything for the job. What else would you want from a political strategist? Yep, <laughs> that, that's actually attorney. a point. This is my attorney. I wasn't born to end up in jail. I was born for great things, and only I decide my fate. There are no bullets in that gun. The clip is out. Unpredictable little things. Again. It's frustrating when they ruin even Maybe, maybe she wasn't so great campaign Everything manager. We'll go according to plan for the next several decades. Yep. Okay, lady, show's over. You're coming with us. I hope they throw away the key. Because of your cold-blooded murder, I'll have to reheat my burgers. <laughs> okay, so he he got the burgers. Oh, PCB. Nice. The do doctor was nice. Flags and balloons, any other cat would be in seventh heaven. Maybe you're more like me when you get a 
headache just thinking about politics. You're way too early. The bachelorette party starts at eight. Uh -huh. To meet with Olivia Blanche. What room is she in? This is a by the hour hotel. People don't usually give names. Dr. Blanche is in her 50s, bright long hair, possibly tied into a ponytail. I gotcha. It's that classy lady. She's staying in room 405. Thank you, citizen. So you aren't the real Robocop? <laughs> Listen, if your mature lady won't be able to satisfy you, I'm sure I'll find someone younger that would be happy to help. Okay. That's way too much information. People, people have strength fetishes. Yet this looks like a place that we are going to shoot up soon, soon enough. Fake ID card. I love how Robocop can can see it's a fake ID card. Incriminating pictures. Janitor's closet. Oh no. It's you. Thank you for coming over. Do you really think I'm in danger? Not as long as I am here. Tell me what happened again. Someone stole my work computer from the precinct. But the only thing of value are my research notes. Your evaluation especially. Does okay. anyone else know about your research? OCP requested confidentiality, so they're the only ones who know about it. You don't think the old man has anything to do with it, do you? Did you notice anyone suspicious at the crime scene? Hmm. No. But after a recent <coughs> hacking attempt, Engineer Morgan fitted my work computer with a tracking device. Sorry. You could download its last coordinates from my private computer. It's right there on the desk. Maybe this will help you find the culprit. I will find them, and they will pay. Actually, even if those thieves were after my research, they'd be disappointed. I keep most of my notes on paper, including my conclusion. I know the whole process wasn't easy for either of us, but I'm sure you felt there was progress. How do you feel about doing the final session now? I would like I that. to adhere to our working relationship. Thank you. I really appreciate it. You agreed to a non-compulsory evaluation. Does that mean you felt our sessions are helpful? Yeah, but because she's one of few people that actually listen Robocop. Yes. A lot has changed since we started. Do you remember how you perceived yourself back then? I was struggling to comprehend my own existence. That's not quite right. But since then, did you have a change of heart? How do you consider yourself now? I like to think of myself as a person. It's great to hear you still stand by it. Through our time together, I've learned a lot about you. And one thing I know for sure is that you're not some kind of soulless OCP robot. Why do you think so? Could a machine create a real bond of friendship such as you and Officer Lewis have? Do you think a machine could teach a newly appointed officer what it means to be a real policeman? Yep. Or bring comfort to a suffering old man? <laughs> What an actual person glitch. Actually, yes. A clear distinction. These so-called glitches are your memories. It seems to me that they manifest themselves in unusual ways because they are trying to get through a mechanical barrier. But as memories and the past make up everyone's personality, those memories make you who you are as well. 
This is what makes you different from a machine. You should not fear them, but embrace them. But there is also the other kind. And that worries me. But the malfunctions you're referring to seem to be strictly technological. I'm afraid someone is using your mechanical side to mess with your psyche. They would be more successful if it wasn't for your human side. Yeah, probably. No it's probably your strong will that allowed you to bear the extraordinary burdens. And it's also what's been protecting you from totally malfunctioning. I don't know a single person who could endure that. So if this evaluation was to determine whether you're human or not, my answer is you're not just a human, but an exceptional one, Alex Murphy. Don't you ever forget that, unless you want to have me on your case again. I will try. Thank you, Doctor. Use my computer to download the coordinates of the tracking device. It's right there on the desk. O old fashioned suit suitcase I computer. Coordinates. Hello, Dr. Blanche. I got a special delivery for you. Uh -huh. But I haven't ordered anything. I only need your signature. Uh -huh. Can you please open the door? That's why I took the desert, desert eagle. Oh no. Yep. need to move. There was an attempt on Dr. Blanche's life. Is she okay? Yes, but she will need an escort. Roger that. I'm on my way. Can we, um... Once cu cup, always cup. Okay, that's that's way to do. aren't dead so well Alex Murphy technically is but go down or can we go to th this side we cannot go through fire is blocking the way oh the cat <laughs> achievement a real hero say say save the cat Thank 
you so much. The sprinklers aren't working. Oh, that works. They, they aren't armored from their legs, so... Yeah, Nuss attacks you. I think I just hit him to balls. Okay, that was crucial. Follow me. Oh wow. I've seen messes here before, but it's not quite like this. We've made it. Oh, thank God. But what should we do now? Dance. Our partner is going to take you to someplace safe. I will find the guilty party using your computer's coordinates. At least we are safe to cat. Some some highlights on on this mission. Basic, basically, this assault rifle I was using it's G11, which which was prototype weapon back in the 80s. 80s shoot, shoot caseless ammunition. Work work with the German space magic. Basically, it's a, roll, a rolling lock. I'm. Finally starting to understand the shooting the blood seeing it firsthand It puts everything into perspective What I think I'm trying to say is Thank you my duty madam So what now Murphy I will follow the signal to track the doctor's computer You will keep her safe Say from what exactly? Who were those guys? Mercenaries on Wendell's payroll. The same ones that paid me a visit at the hospital? Wendell should be grateful. You keep reducing his overhead. <laughs> I am expecting a huge payoff. I hear that. <laughs> what one-liners in this game. Huh. 